we're going to be going through endodontic and periodontic disease. We're going to be covering a couple of couple of topics. Now, I know you've had some of this before uh, in uh, your perio class, but we're going to look at this a little bit more from the endodontic perspective. We're going to be going through the an overview of the problem, the effects of the disease process, the theoretical pathways, lateral canals, and anatomy. Uh, if we get to that, we may not get to the lateral canals and, and anatomy portion of this. Talk a, a little bit about healing, a lot about diagnosis, and we're going to touch on possible treatment uh, outcomes for uh, for this. So, as we look at the overview of the problem, uh, we're going to look at the rationale of endodontic treatment. First off, any tooth can be saved endodontically so long as the tooth or the foramen can be sealed with or without surgery, and if the tooth is periodontally sound or can be made periodontally sound. This is a critical element in uh, understanding some of the differences between endodontic and periodontal disease. We can treat almost any tooth endodontically. You know, there's limitations with anatomy and whatnot, but this tooth has to be periodontally sound or it has to be brought into periodontal health. The endodontic problem is related to how the tooth is attached to uh, the bone. Uh, when we have endodontic disease, the periodontal ligament space becomes continuous or contiguous with the marrow spaces in the bone. In the PDL, when we have a periradicular infection, when we have an acute alveolar abscess, the collagen fibers of the periodontal ligament lose their attachment to the cripiform plate. But, and this is the important part, they remain attached to the cementum of, of the tooth. If you look at this image, You know, this particular tooth can have a lot of uh, endodontic breakdown, and it can be actually be fairly mobile, but as long as the tooth uh, is, and this is just endodontic disease, and by eliminating the etiology, you're going to be able to uh, uh, bring this tooth back to health. So the endodontic problem is that when you consider the uh, periodontal ligament fire, fibers, they were once organized and functional fibers, but now they become disorganized and non-functional, and it can be very mobile. However, and, and then this decreases the total area of attachment of the tooth to the bone. And the tooth can become mobile, but it can be retained. The periodontal problem is a bit different. Uh, the basic concept when we're considering uh, periodontal disease is that the bone or the PDL is destroyed and the attachment to the cementum is destroyed and the attachment to the tooth is concerned. Periodontal is a progressive chronic disease. It does not something that happens overnight. Sometimes endodontic disease can happen quite rapidly. And then you see that fibers, the periodontal ligament fibers that were attached to the cementum uh, can be destroyed by plaque, uh, by calculus and actually by curatage if you get too aggressive and you remove the cementum from uh, the dentin of the tooth. And when you do this, this presents normal reattachment. 